Hello, Vasavi here. Let's see how uh, trigonometry is used in real life. How we use trigonometry to find the height and distance of various objects without actually measuring them. So before going to the problems, let us learn the different kinds of angles and few other things. Okay, so that it helps you in pro solving the problem easily. So the first one here is the line of sight. Okay. So you should know what the line of sight is. Look at this diagram, the first picture I've shown you. A girl, she watches out something down here, okay, from her balcony. And normally this straight horizontal line is the eye level, okay. It is her normal eye level. A person standing on the balcony if he looks straight, uh, then this would be the normal eye level, okay. But she is looking at something on the ground, okay, here. So what happens is, she her eye is tilted downwards, okay. And here this line is called the line of sight, okay. The line from here to here, from her eye to this object is line of sight. So the line of sight is the line drawn from the eye, eye level of an observer to the point on the object, okay? To the point of the object viewed by the observer. So she is looking at this object and from her eye level to that object where she looks at is the line of sight. Here she looks down. Okay, so your line is tilted downwards. Look at this second picture here. Now a person is looking at the top of a tower. Okay, so this is his eye level. This straight line is the normal. This is the horizontal line. And that one would be the observer's normal eye level. Okay, this is the eye level. But when he looks up, his eye is tilted upwards, right? He looks up. So he makes, uh, he lifts his head and he looks up. And this line from his eye to the place where he is looking at, okay, is the line of sight. Hope you would have understood what is the line of sight. The horizontal eye level is the normal eye level. If he looks up, or down to the object, the line which goes from his eyes to the place where he is looking at is the line of sight. Understood? Now, the second thing you should know is angle of elevation. So, okay, I gave you an example uh, above, right? A person looking on top of something. Okay, or he is looking at the top of an object here. Her tower, he looks at the top of the tower. So he, a person is standing here at, at the point A. So this is the person and this is the tower he is looking at. His normal eyesight, okay, his face is here from his eye level. Uh, the normal horizontal line is this, okay. This is the horizontal line. Uh, but the line of sight is from his eyes to the object where he is looking at. Okay. The point where he is looking at. So he is looking at the top. So here the angle so formed inside the horizontal eye level and the line of sight is angle of elevation. So the angle of elevation comes within the horizontal line. And the line of his sight. Okay. When he looks up. In the next picture. I would show you the angle of depression. So you see the girl standing on the corridor here. So this is the girl standing. Okay. And this horizontal line is the is her normal eye level. Right. That's the normal eye level. Then. Now, 
this time she is looking down from the balcony she is looking down at something so her line of sight is over here okay this is her line of sight this line is the line of sight right she is looking down so here you find an angle of depression right here you find angle of depression because from her eye level she is looking down so the angle is created downwards and that is why you call it angle of dip we use this angle of elevation and angle of depression for calculating the problem okay now i would just give you an example here here you see a person okay somebody looking at the top of a tower and uh, so i told you already i told you this horizontal line would be the normal eye level okay i write it as normal eye level now this line is the line of sight that is from the eye to the object so uh, look at the next picture here and this angle 45 degree angle over here is the angle of elevation right she is looking up so the observer is looking up so that's angle of elevation they may give you one of the information like either the normal eye level i mean the distance from the tower to the person okay that is this side this is the distance right from the tower okay they may give you the distance from the tower uh, or this is the height of the tower okay this is height the line of sight or uh, the angle of elevation so the information like this any two information would be given and the rest would be asked okay so depending on which side is given and which side you are going to find out you would use one of these ratios trigonometric ratios either the sine or the cosine or tan to solve these type of problems okay so what you normally do is see what which side is given and what has been asked which side is been asked so if they are opposite and the hypotenuse side you use the sine ratio if the side given and if the side to be found is adjacent and hypotenuse then we use the cos formula for cos ratio and if the sides involved are opposite side and the adjacent side then we use the tan okay so the angle is given here so we either use sin 45 or cos 45 or tan 45 and find the rest i'll be explaining that with few problems in the next video clipping but here i just want you to know the basic things like what all comes in a question look at the next picture the difference between these two picture if you just make a close look of it here in the first one the person's height is not mentioned okay they just say he looks up on the tower and he is this this many meters away from the tower and if they don't mention the height of the person you just ignore it don't take it into consideration okay to calculate the height of the tower all you would need to do is to find this much height only okay because the height of the person is not mentioned in the question but the same question when they give you the height okay here the person ae here this is given say for instance they say it is 3 meters or something then what you would do is your right triangle will give you the height of this this is the height right this is the height of tower you have the line of sight here this is line of sight you have the normal eye level right so and this would be your height okay from here to here i would say this is the height so you have got the triangle here so when you find the height of the triangle you would get the height only from here to here right 
because the triangle ends, the right triangle ends here. If in the problem they have mentioned the person's height, you will have to add that much length here also to get the original length of the tower. Okay, then you would add this 3 to this height and then that would be your tower length. So all I wanted to tell you is this. If the observer's height is mentioned, you would have to consider his height also to find the height of the tower. Just make these basic things clear. Understand it well and we will move on to the problems in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.